Hey guys! Welcome to today's video. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck is happening. Let me explain. So, I was sitting at my desk and I had this wild idea of what, if, what would it be like if I tried to dress up as celebrities for like Halloween costumes. So, then I started digging through my closet and I found a few things that I think will make you guys laugh and also are pretty funny. Or fun. So, um, yeah, let's transform. So for this outfit, I chose a Harry Styles look. Now, all I had for button-up was a flannel, but normally he just wears button-ups with crazy, you know, patterns. Um, I also decided to pick out a hat because, you know, Harry Styles wears the hat sometimes, and this was supposed to be, like, the longer hair look. So if you don't have my hair, I suggest maybe a wig, or maybe you can do the shorter hair look. Um, I also have the, uh... The jeans, the jeans are just some old, you know, gray jeans, which is pretty typical for a guy. And for the shoes, I basically just went with a regular pair of brown boots, because Harry Styles is known for wearing his brown boots. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Now, Cheryl is known to be very preppy, so I went with a plain black dress, and maybe you have a different colored dress, but she's mostly very fancy, but also pretty, you know, plain at the same time. So, I also went with the red wig, which is for her red hair. It doesn't look exactly like her hair 100%, but it's close enough. So, if you don't have red hair naturally, then I suggest getting a red wig. Now for the shoes, I went for a simple heel, that just a uh, plain tan or whatever skin colored heel that I thought would match um, Cheryl best because again, simple but also fancy. And that's basically Cheryl's look. Now Kylie is a rare breed of human. She has a very... Uh, <laughs> interesting way of her style this is supposed to be more of a laid-back look where she you know just lounging at home you know letting the tummy stick out just a regular you know plain t-shirt got the shorts with a big butt um i got the wig if you don't have a wig then you know um get a wig and then also you know stuff your bra a little bit and put on some shades to look you know fabulous for the shoes, I didn't really go with shoes, because as I said, this is supposed to be a casual look, something you just go around the house in, so she did not wear any shoes. Now for the 21 Pilot look, you need to have um, a ski mask. Um, I would put my hair up in it if I were you, maybe not put a ponytail, because it just looks like you have a tumor on the back of your head. Um, I'd go with a 21 Pilot t-shirt just, you know, to show that you're for 21 Pilots and not a robber. And then I also did the regular jeans like I did with Harry. For the shoes, I went with regular Converse just because 21 Pilots is usually very casual with the way that they dress. Now, this isn't the only look you can do. There's also other looks as well. You can also do a style with a 21 Pilots hat and then the glasses that Tyler Joseph wears in concert which are just the white glasses that you can get at Hot Topic. Most of what I'm wearing was from Hot Topic, so. For red coat, you want to hide your face a lot, so make sure you have a sweatshirt that you can put a hood up and cover your face, and then also you want to make sure it's red, because if you want to be red coat, you gotta have a red coat. Um, my coat happens to actually be uh, Pretty Little Liars merchandise, and it says who is A on the sleeve, so it kind of works out perfectly. Um, so red coat seems pretty laid back, so I just went with a jacket and then a pair of just black leggings, and then I had my hair in my face to cover it a lot, because you're not supposed to know who I am. And for the shoes, I just went with a pair of simple Converse, and that's all you really need to do to be red coat. For Jake Paul, you just need to literally dress like a piece of shit and act like a tool bag. Show off your muscles, you know, act like you're better than everyone else, richer than everybody else. Um, yeah, just make yourself look like you think you're hot, you know you're hot, and you know you're cool. You get all of the ladies, um, and you're just a literal piece of shit. Now, he doesn't need to wear shoes because he is a piece of shit, and shits don't wear shoes. Last, but certainly not the least, we have the Dan and Phil look. Basically, you just take 
a Dan and Phil merch t-shirt, which I took the, you know, pastel -y one to go for this kind of pastel -y look. And I just took a pair of my gray jeans that I've used already in two other costumes. And, um, just to complete this look overall, I have the flower crown, which will also match my pastel -y look. And the flower crown is also a Dan and Phil flower crown, which I got on the tour, the Dan and Phil tour. And then just a pair of regu regular old Converse to complete the look. Now, if you want to be extra, you can add a hat. Mine says Lit AF, but you can find like a glittery one, and then it's basically Dan. Or if you want to be even more extra, you can put on another Dan and Phil t-shirt, along with a Cat Whiskers beanie, and have your Dan and Phil plushies if you own them. Um, clearly, I am a very dedicated fan. Oh, look! Yep, there, yeah, there they are. Alright, well, this is the look. Sorry for the gross angle and the just gross overallness of me. I just don't feel like pulling out my camera again and sitting down and talking to it. And then just for like, just an outro. So I'm just doing this on my laptop. So I'm sorry for the bad um, audio. If there is bad audio, I don't know yet. But um, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next train. Bye.